What's up, Aries? With your November love general reading. This is for my lovely Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading. It may not resonate with every Aries out there. So guys, this is a general. As always in a general, roles can be reversed. Energies can be reversed. And cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. So Spirit, tell me about Aries, please. What's the current energy and love for Aries? Tell me about what's going on with Aries for the month of November in regards to love. Tell me about Aries, please. Page of Wands. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Aries, looks like you are um, really in this connection. You know, you're solid here. Um, you might have some Earth in your chart. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles here, you're feeling like there. You maybe you can't take action right now in this connection. It is really frustrating for you here with the Three of Swords here. So. Yeah, I feel like you are kind of upset about the timing of the situation. Your person seems to be more optimistic about things. Um, let's get the connecting energy between you two. Here's the Seven of Cups. So it looks like both of you are kind of like dreaming of each other, dreaming of more together, maybe dreaming of traveling to one another with this chariot here, like a long distance type connection. And the Three of Cups. This might be a, more of a friendship situation right now. And both of you are determined to turn it into something more. So I do feel a very mutual attraction interest here. I, I feel, Aries, you, you've decided to stick this out with this person for as long as possible. You're saying I'm a very jealous person. Maybe this is some of this heartbreak here as well. Maybe this person's getting a lot of attention from other people. Or you're just having to deal with some inner demons coming up right now that maybe they're going to lose interest in you. They're going to, you know, go to um, brighter horizons, greener shores. Is that the word for it? Listen to your heart. So I do feel like this person does feel very called in their heart to be with you, to be by your side. So even if they do have maybe a lot of success, a lot of options in their life, I really feel, I well, I feel both of you have a lot of options, actually. Um but I feel like you guys are the ones that are just meant for each other because you have a true bond of friendship between you. When I feel like you guys are like equally yoked, meaning you have a similar strength of spirit. And I feel that you both can contribute to one another's lives in a powerful way. Here's separation, time apart from each other. Yeah, that could be what the Three Swords is here as well, that you're just really feeling um, feeling their their absence. You guys are in a physical distance here. And here's, I feel you ener energetically. Wow, this is interesting. So this person really tunes into you, even if you guys aren't together on physical level right now. And I feel like that's where this fire is coming from. This person's picking up your fire, Aries. <laughs> and I feel when they connect with you, it really motivates them. Like it brings them to life in a way that they have not been in a very long time. You really brought them back to life. And here's action number 17. And for them, we have woman holding a heart, number 44. Interesting, two things with heart here. I really feel like you totally have the key to this person's heart. There's anxiety as well, number 18. So I feel like even though they look kind of confident and happy a lot of the time, I feel they like actually have a lot of anxiety about losing you or being hurt because they haven't opened their heart like this in a very long time. Or maybe they told themselves they weren't going to open their heart like this again. They weren't really interested in doing that. But then you came along. I feel like they really liked that maybe you pursued them at the beginning or something like that. Um, they, they really just... Um, they couldn't help but get caught up with you. They just really liked your spirit. Okay, here's longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Gosh. So yeah, Aries, you're just really feeling the separation here from this person. I feel like you're trying not to be like this. Maybe you're trying to take action to kind of cover up. Like you're trying to stay really busy. 
to cover up like his jealousy, his longing feelings, the missing um, your person feelings. Here's trust. It is safe to trust in the situation. Okay. So I do feel like this person um, really feels in their heart that they can genuinely trust you. They see you as a trustworthy person. And I, I can see that here too. Um, because when the nine of pentacles comes up, I see that as someone just really trustworthy, someone who really wants to be there. And we'll see this for the connecting energy soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So this, you guys do have a very special soul connection here. And I feel it's working right now. You guys are working to build it into something more. And here's wedding. Interesting. The situation involves marriage. That's on your side here, Aries. So this could mean, you know, you could see marrying this person one day. You could see just leveling up your commitment, your connection more. Um, possibly you are married and you're, you're taking steps away from that. You're just um, unsure of what to do right now. Okay. Here's forgiving and learning and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yeah, I feel like this person just started to get to know you more and more. And they just really, they could feel your energy more and more. And this is what made them just like really fall for you and just really start trusting you is the more they found out about you, the more they, they were impressed. They weren't expecting to be so impressed with you, I feel. I feel you you gave them, um, you helped heal them from something in their past. So you've helped them to let go and just be okay with some parts of their past. And they're very like relieved by that. Okay. So let's see here. We're going to get more details on each side now. See, this card wants to come out. What is this? Think before you act. So this is interesting. We'll take this for both of you where you're both being cautious here. You both have a lot of passion for each other. And Aries, your full, first impulse is to be taking lots of action. But you've been really trying to be in your more king of swords energy and um, plan things and wait on things. You know, you're trying to do kind of like a delayed gratification thing. I feel because you're you're feeling like if you just t try to take action right now, it could end in um, too much heartbreak for you or others. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you, Aries. What else? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, here's judgment. The five of pentacles. Okay, something about being connected to this person, you're starting to notice maybe some of your um, shortcomings or some places you still need to build up in your life. Um, it's been kind of, it's getting kind of like painfully clear and obvious that like, oh my gosh, I need to t really take action on the things I've been neglecting or um, just haven't been noticing as much in my life. So really, it's been good for you, though. It's like um, a nice awakening to make you build yourself up into who you always wanted to be. And the beautiful thing is the star card is right here as well. So that's confirming what we're feeling here is that even if you are seeing, maybe you felt really down on yourself before you met this person. This person came in, they gave you hope. They gave you hope to repair your life, heal your life, have a better future. And here's the queen of wands. So I feel like you're starting to honor yourself a bit more here because this person, um, I feel like you see that you're very, very attracted to them. You see them as maybe even a level above you sometimes. And so it's done a lot for you that this person's just very interested in you and um, just very, very supportive, very loving. Okay, so Aries person, what's going on with them? Here's the nine of wands. The star, the star on both sides, mutual energy here. These are, they're both like really just looking up to each other and kind of taking with one another and just dreaming and dreaming, dreaming about one another, which is the seven of cups here. And here's the four of cups. So your person's going back and forth between being very hopeful about the situation and then um, sometimes feeling like kind of depressed, like how are we ever going to make this work? And sometimes they try to just numb their feelings and put up boundaries and walls um, like when they're feeling, because I feel like they're longing for you as well. And again, it, this is more like a superficial thing, like they act more excited um, and optimistic around you because they want to like keep you in a good mood. But underneath it, they're quite emotional and very much like guarding their own hearts because they, they do like wear their heart on their sleeve when it comes to you. I feel like they um, don't want to like keep anything from you. They really want to share themselves with you. Okay. Let's see here. Anything else? But this person does not want to give up on this. They're like, even if this is hard, even after if I have to go through hard stuff, I'm I'm not giving up on you. I love you. Ace of Cups showing up here. 
Okay, so what are they feeling about you? Or what are you feeling about that later? Yes. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Fool. I feel like you're kind of joyfully going about working harder in your life right now. And the lovers, wow, love. Yes, love is driving you. Um, love is this driving force for you now um, to, to go farther than you've gone before, which is awesome, Aries. You're meant to achieve a lot in this lifetime. You're meant to really develop your talents and skills. And um, yeah, this person really admires you for that a lot. So um, yeah, I feel like you'll do just about anything for this person. You're willing to start a new life or just some kind of new chapter with them. And here's the Ace of Cups showing up for you as well. So we have so much mutual energy here. Like you love them, they love you. You know, they they look up to you, you look up to them. It's pretty cool. It's very nice that you guys have this beautifully mutual connection. Maybe you guys just don't, I feel like you still kind of keep some stuff from one another though. Still afraid to share too much. Here's the Ace of Wands showing up again. Ten of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. This person, I feel, is um, definitely serious about you. Um, the Ace of Wands, this is just confirming this really large attraction and excitement they feel in being with your presence. Just super happy um, times with you. With the Ten of Cups, they they feel like you fulfill them emotionally. Like, they, they couldn't feel any better than um, when they're with you. No one makes them feel this way. So they really are, um, you know, wanting to give you some kind of serious offer here. Now, this is just like a start of something, you know, they're not going to just offer everything to you right now, but, um, this is their, they feel this is very promising with you. So they always want to like give you what they can when they can. All right. What are your intentions for them, Aries? Here's the Ace of Pentacles. So more mutual energies. This is like another um, offer, like making things real type card. Eight of Wands. All right. So you want to keep moving this forward as much as possible. And the Three of Cups. And maybe just you want to still concentrate on it being just a friendship for now. But I feel you're treating this more than just a friendship. Like you really are giving more than you want to your typical friend here. You have to get that, like the whole treasure chest of pentacles of the 10 of pentacles here. So I feel like you're very committed to this person, to this person's well-being. Um, just, I feel like you really want to uplift them, support them. This is very, very positive energy. You're a very good, good, lovely friend of this person, Aries. So yeah, I would totally want to be friends with you. <laughs> okay, so... Um, intentions what are their intentions actually i realize i really really love aries um aries is my descendant so usually you know you have your rising sign your descending sign so whatever your rising sign is your descending sign is the exact uh, exact opposite my rising is libra so aries is the opposite sign so that's usually like the kind of people you are attracted to they're kind of like the they feel like the missing piece in the missing energy in your life so yeah whatever your rising sign is um your setting sign is the opposite and that will tell you the pit people you, the kind of energy you're really attracted to okay so their intentions towards you we have temperance this is beautiful oh my gosh there's a very beautiful sharing of energy of both times you guys have a like, beautiful connection and look at that another beautiful card king of cups first we could have some scorpio in their chart you also have aquarius coming out here uh, two of cups oh my gosh you guys this person wants a union with you they want to be there for you they are um i feel they're very committed emotionally to you and they're willing to um this is another union card they want to keep blending your energies keep blending your lives together keep creating something beautiful and magical with you okay so i feel like they're always going to be caring for you but maybe not saying it all the time but um yeah i just feel like this is like best friends energy here so yeah, they, they definitely want to take care of you like you're the best friend. And um, yeah, if you guys are just friends right now, just know that friendships can grow into the most wonderful, wonderful relationships. And then a ton of pentacles is showing up here as well. Wow, good stuff. Okay, so let's see. What are their main blocks in this connection with you, Aries? So I feel like you're just all there for each other, both loving each other. That's That's where you guys are headed right now. Here's the devil. Okay, so they might have some karma they need to clear, some maybe depression, um, maybe feeling like maybe they're they're not going to 
good enough for you. They sell some shadows from the past. They're like kind of haunting them or just fears of this won't work out somehow. Here's Grove number 21. So, hmm. Flip on. Conclusion number 12. Yeah, I feel like they're very afraid, like, of maybe ending something that they're stuck in right now, or this could just mean like they they're very afraid. I feel for more of them, they're very afraid they get vulnerable, they get safe, feel safe and trusting with someone, and then they're afraid it's just going to end. So they're very afraid of this like ending with you out of nowhere one day. You know they really do just have their heart out there for you. Okay, let's see. Um, what are you both thinking about each other, Aries? The Empress. Oh, wow. You both have each other kind of on a pedestal. You both just find, again, find one another incredibly attractive, very sweet as well. So this is, um, this feels a little like the star to me where you just both are just like, wow, just in love with each other's like talents and um, beauty. How are you both feeling about each other? Overall, it's a pretty blessed reading, I would say. Um, here's the Six of Pentacles. So I would say this means mutual feelings, mutual wanting to give to one another okay what might you expect from your person in the next couple weeks the five of cups wheel of fortune the two of pentacles and the tower this person might surprise you somehow Let's see. They might like want to confess some more in their emotions to you. Ten of Wands, they might just tell you more about what's going on in their life. I do feel like they're going to work on finding some time for you. Two of Pentacles. I, um, but they're going to be pretty busy. So I feel like if they're not like around as often as, as they usually are, I feel it's because they are juggling a lot in their life. And here's the Nine of Swords. So yeah, I do feel like they, they, they have a lot of um, just like internal intensity going on right now however this is like all part of um something to kind of get them onto their highest life path okay let's see here so this could be something that will you know, start to change the tide of things in this connection and get things clear and moving for both of you with eight of wands here okay so advice for you aries what advice do you need <laughs> Higher power, four. Okay, good. So, yeah, Aries, if you are feeling, like, heartbroken or frustrated around this connection, um, you can uh, call in, you know, higher power, um, your God connection, your higher self connection. Um, you know, you can offer up sincere prayer to help with any anything you're struggling through or anything you feel like is in the way of this connection coming into a full union. You can pray for obstacles to be removed. Okay, so... And for everything to come together happy in the happiest possible way for everyone involved, the most harmonious, graceful way, that's what you can pray for. So keep um, tuning in higher, tune into your higher frequencies, you know, don't get stuck on the, the lower, um, sad, bit frustrating things as much. Okay, so start calling heaven down to earth. Okay, so I feel like you can have heaven on earth, those earth with this person. So we're going to get um, some messages from them. I want you. That would be very clear, you guys, with Ace of Wands showing up twice. And here's, you are my soulmate. This is beautiful. Yeah. And I'm struggling. So we did see that right here. So I feel, again, this is like a happy face. They are struggling underneath where you guys are separated. I wish I did things differently. Now I don't know how to fix us. I'm addicted to your love and attention. And I know you are the one and that scares me. And here is I'm afraid of being hurt again. We did see that coming up in the reading here. A few more cards. So we meet again, my dear friend, through space and across time. They feel like they've known you forever. You just love how you guys merge and blend together so effortlessly. Can we just kiss all night? They're getting ready to like travel towards you if you guys are at long distance. I love you. I hate you. I can't live without you. Or I love you. I hate this, this distance, this situation. I can't live without you. 
and I want more with you one day. I totally believe that. Okay, thank you so much, Aries, for watching. Um, if you really resonated with this reading, there is an extended reading available below if you're interested, we'll, where we will take a deeper look at how this person's feeling about you and get more message cards from them. And I'd love to have you subscribe here if you're new and you like this reading. I come out with Aries readings once a week with all the other signs as well. And I will see you in the extended reading if you're interested. Link below. If not, I hope to see you soon. Take care, Aries. Bye-bye.